Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. This week, we're going to talk about water filter pitchers, and we'd like to thank Leah Stein for liking and sharing the podcast, and we'd like to thank Mike Luoma from the Glow in the Dark radio podcast for letting us talk about our podcast on his podcast. Well said. Hippocrates, the Greek physician in 400 BC, developed a cloth bag filter to trap sediment for drinking water. One of the first patents for a water filter to help purify drinking water was in the mid-1700s. Some of the first home water filters were produced in 1750, and in the 1970s, Brita came out with one of the first water filter jugs for home use. Hmm. The Federal Safe Drinking Water Act was enacted in 1974, and experts say the drinking water standards need to be updated to include more contaminants, and there should be stricter standards. For some chemicals that are regulated, the legal limit is higher than the new health standards recommended by some researchers and public health agencies. The EPA recommends going online and looking up your local consumer confidence report for your water supplier. It's going to identify the water source for your water, like a river, a lake, or an aquifer, and any contaminants and violations. The Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit organization, has a tap water database, and it shows the results of tests conducted at about 50,000 local water utilities by the EPA. Hmm. And you can go to ewg.org, you get onto their tap water database, enter in your zip code, and you're going to get the latest test results. Did you do this? Yeah, so I put in my zip code, and our water's in compliance with the federal drinking water standard, but they found 10 contaminants that exceeded the limits recommended by some researchers. Hmm, That's not good. When I looked up activated carbon filters, which are found in a lot of the water filter pitchers, and they're low cost, it reduced the levels of all of the chemicals except one. Hmm. When you're comparing water pitchers and the filters, there are quite a few different types of filters, and they can vary on what contaminants they reduce or remove. Hmm. Can you test your own tap water? Yes, some top-rated tap water tests come from Health Metric. It's H-E-A-L-T-H, capital M-E-T-R-I-C, Verify, V-A-R-I-F-Y, First Alert, F-I-R-S-T, capital A-L-E-R-T, and WaterSafe has a well water test kit. It's W-A-T-E-R, capital S-A-F-E. You should test your well water, right? Yeah, it's recommended to have well water tested at least yearly by a professional, or you can test it yourself with one of these kits. So if you have well water or city water and use the consumer confidence report and know the chemicals or specific contaminants you want to reduce, you should compare the filters. EWG, the Environmental Working Group, recommends a filter that is certified by the Water Quality Association, or NSF. Cool. There aren't federal regulations for water pitcher filters, so different filters can remove or reduce different contaminants. Hmm. NSF ANSI 42 filters, for example, primarily reduce chlorine and chloramine, which affects taste and odor of your water. NSF ANSI 53 removes lead, mercury, VOCs, chromium, and other chemicals in the water, or reduces them. NSF ANSI 401 removes and reduces pharmaceuticals and other chemicals that aren't regulated by the EPA right now. And NSF ANSI 244 and 231 remove microbes and bacteria. So you really need to look at the water pitcher filters and the replacement filters on exactly what they're reducing or removing from the water so you can kind of match it to the contaminants in your water. 
Because you could have a filter that's removing stuff, but it's not a problem in your area. Right, exactly. That's a bummer. I looked at a bunch of filters, and it's interesting the differences. Brita, for example, has a long-last filter that will filter 120 gallons of water before it needs to be replaced, and they say that should be about six months. It reduces chlorine, lead, mercury, cadmium, benzene, and other contaminants. A standard Brita filter reduced chlorine, mercury, cadmium, copper, and zinc, and it filters 40 gallons, or it lasts about two months. Hmm. Norwex has a four-stage filter, and it reduces lead, copper, chlorine, cadmium, mercury, and other impurities like lime scale, and they say their filter adds magnesium back to the water to make it taste better. And they have a digital filter indicator to let you know when the filter should be replaced. Cool. DrinkPod has an eight-stage filter that reduces heavy metals, arsenic, lead, fluoride, chlorine, and chloramine, and it filters out silt, rust, and sand. It increases the pH and adds minerals to improve the taste of the water. And theirs is a 60-day filter. Pure has a standard filter that reduces mercury, copper, and industrial pollutants, and they have a plus filter that reduces mercury, copper, industrial pollutants, lead, and other heavy metals. And theirs works on 40 gallons, or it lasts about two months. All right. LifeStraw has a filter that removes bacteria, parasites, microplastics, silt, sand, and it reduces cloudiness in the water. It reduces heavy metals like lead and mercury, reduces chlorine, pesticides, herbicides, and bad odors, and it leaves minerals like magnesium and potassium. They have an activated carbon filter that works on 40 gallons or lasts around two months, and they have a membrane microfilter that works on 264 gallons or lasts about a year. But their filters don't remove fluoride, chloramine, arsenic, nitrates, or nitrites. So again, you need to know what's in your water. Right. How much water should you be drinking a day? Mayo Clinic says the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine recommends 15.5 cups of water for men and 11.5 cups of water for women under normal conditions. And then they say adjust for exercise, environment, health, or pregnancy. Some filters say they will lower TDS, which is total dissolved solids. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? (laughs) Well, I spoke to DrinkPod. They make water filter pitchers. They say the higher the total dissolved solids, the more impurities that the water contains. But the problem with only looking at TDS is beneficial minerals are also included in the TDS value. And just because water has a low TDS value, you can't conclude it's good quality water. DrinkPod says their water filters reduce harmful pollutants while allowing the water to retain minerals and improve the flavor. Hmm. The EPA says total dissolved solids are the amount of organic and inorganic materials like metals, minerals, salts, and ions that are dissolved in a specific volume of water. They say some common total dissolved solids include calcium, chloride, magnesium, potassium, zinc, aluminum, copper, lead, arsenic, iron, chlorine, sodium, fluoride, sulfates, pesticides, and herbicides. Tap water with a high concentration of TDS can have a bitter taste and unpleasant smell. High TDS isn't necessarily unhealthy to drink, depending on what the solids are, but contaminants like lead can cause brain and nervous system damage. A carbon filter that's configured for lead reduction can help reduce health risks. Hmm. The EPA says lead can get into your drinking water when plumbing containing lead comes in contact with tap water. Older homes with lead pipe that connects to the water main is one of the most significant sources of lead in water, and it's going to be most common in older cities with homes built before 1986. 
and in almost all of the old homes I bought when I was investing in real estate in Chicago had soft lead pipe coming into the house, hmm. and then that was connected to the galvanized pipe. Hmm. And if you're in an older home with a lead water main, let the, let, <laughs> let the water run for around three minutes before using the water for drinking or cooking, because the longer the water has been sitting in that section with the lead pipe, the more lead that the water could contain. And you also want to clean the aerator on your faucets regularly to remove the debris that could contain lead and use water filters configured to remove lead from the water. All right. What about the quality of bottled water? So Scientific American says tap water is regulated by the EPA. Right. Bottled water is regulated by the FDA. The EPA has tighter restrictions and inspection regimes the FDA doesn't require bottled water to disclose the source of the water, the treatment process, or any contaminants that were found in the water. For tap water, the EPA requires a yearly report disclosing all this information, which you can look up and hmm. see exactly what's in your water. Interesting. Yeah. When you're looking at water filter pitchers, compare the filters and what they remove. Compare the shape and the size so it fits easily in your refrigerator. Look at the handle shape, and if you can see display models at retail stores, it gives you a feel for how heavy they are, how it fits into your hand. Compare the filter replacement cost and how long they last, because you can have a couple models that do the same thing, but it can cost you less depending on how much the filters cost. Right. BPA-free plastic is going to be healthier or glass is healthier. BPA is used in some types of containers, and the CDC says research shows it can leach into water. Mayo Clinic says BPA exposure has possible health effects on the brain and prostate gland of fetuses, infants, and children. Hmm. Check how you fill the pitcher. Is there an opening or do you have to remove the whole lid? Weight can be an issue for older adults with limited hand strength or for kids. And check the water capacity for larger families. There's also a filter life indicator on many of these water pitchers. Some have removable batteries and some have sealed batteries. When the battery runs out, you need to replace the whole device. Wow. So I spoke to Britta and Norwex, and they both said that they would send a free replacement if you contact them. So make sure you fill out your warranty card when you purchase one of these pitchers. Mm. So if they, you need a replacement part, they'll send it to you. Cool. If you see an alkaline water pitcher, it has a filter that increases the pH level, making it less acidic and adding minerals. According to Mayo Clinic, there isn't scientific evidence that alkaline water has health benefits. The gastric juices in your stomach will reacidify the water as you drink it. Hmm. But most people say that it does improve the taste. Okay. Some top-rated water filter pitchers come from Epic, E-P-I-C, Brita, B-R-I-T-A, Norwex, N-O-R-W-E-X, Zero Water, Z-E-R-O, capital W-A-T-E-R, Drink Pod, D-R-I-N-K, capital P-O-D, Pure, P-U-R, and Life Straw, L-I-F-E-S-T-R-A-W. And the company Core, it's K-O-R, has an interesting water filter system. It has a stand and a filter that sits on your countertop, and you put glass carafes under it. So you pour water into the stand, and it filters it, and it drains into the carafe, and then you just put the carafe into your refrigerator. Hmm. Cool. Do you have anything else to add? Water filter pitchers are an inexpensive way to improve the quality of your water, and many of them will improve the taste by removing chlorine or adding in minerals. Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our ebooks, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know, books 1 through 15 on Amazon. 
If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com. You can follow Cindy on Twitter at fixitcohost. And you can follow us on Instagram, Fixit Home Improvement. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week. Do it. Do it.